Now that we have our magnets placed, we are going to uh, grab our page one, four and a half by seven inch pieces. One is uh, the left hand and one is the right hand. I wrote mine the wrong way here, but that's okay. It makes no difference at all. So this would be left. Kind of turned myself around when I was writing all this down and right. So the right hand one is going to have our flap off to the right. Our left will have our little flap off to the left. So first things first, let's just fold on those score lines. All right, here is our top flap. So what we're going to do is first we're going to uh, grab the one that has the left hand flap. You have an inside score line and an outside score line. On that outside score line, we're gonna pinch and we're gonna lift this up, our flap, and all we're gonna do is wrap it right there in the front, just like that. And be careful, your magnet's gonna to wanna to grab. But once you have that around that top flap, we can then glue down the flap. Whoops, crazy. Okay, so we'll just get that down. Let's grab our other flap. And we're just going to push back against that, like so. Our other flap is going to do the same thing, except for we'll slide it underneath and line it up. We have an inside score line and an outside. We'll pinch on that outside. We'll lift up our flap. We'll slide that under there. And we will line that up so it is even with this other one. When you're lining up, and that is, oh, that's my dogs. They're going crazy. Okay, so once you feel that you have it lined up, you're going to pinch, hold, and we're going to glue that down. Okay, we'll flip this one up and we will push back against that one until we have a flatter edge. Let's grab magnets. I have a magnet here. We'll just take off that backing. What we're going to do is just place that right on over here. We'll grab its mate and let it find each other. We will remove. Now, if you've got yours on crooked, this is the time you can straighten it up. So make sure you're flush over there. And when you bring over, don't pull it tight. You want to be able to have room. But just line up your, your paper there and then press. Okay. And now we have our magnets in place. Let's move on in. We can just close that up for now, keep it all contained. And we'll start working with grabbing our paper for up here. In your paper pack, you will find this print. On the back, it looks like this. Let's first take off that trim piece. Our first cut, we're just gonna turn it like this, measure over six inches, and cut. All right, so this is the piece I want. What I want us to do is put this on our paper cutter and we are just going to see where it has your line going down. We're going to trim off this crim, uh, this crim, <laughs> cream piece and I'll show you what mine looks like in case you're uh, uncertain. I have my dogs playing in the background. You'll hear them growling and having a good time back there for a bit. Anyway, that's what I trimmed off. So once you do that, let's just flip this upside down. Measure over six and three quarters inch and cut. Before we add glue, I always like to verify we're gonna fit. So if you were to place this up here, you'll have a nice black border side to side and top to bottom. And the bottom one will have a larger gap from where that upper score line is. So if you were to push this up, leave yourself about an eighth inch of black showing. Okay, let's apply glue, and we're going to glue that down. 
Okay, on your sticker sheet, we should have these left over. We're going to need to measure over six and three quarters inch on the top sticker sheet. And that's where we're going to cut. So I'm going to grab this. It'll be easier for me just to kind of measure this up before I take it off. So six and three quarters. It looks like it's going to put me right here at the edge. So I know that's where I'm going to need to cut. Right on over here, approximately. And now what I'm going to do is place this. Be sure to leave yourself about an eighth inch away from that upper score line as best you can because we definitely don't want to um, get anything to interfere with that. So there's that. In your reserves you will have this 12 inch long piece on the back. It looks like this. Measure over three and a half inches and cut. The size that you should have left over here is going to be three and a half by I believe five inches. In your leftover black cardstock, this is not on your pre-cutting sheet, cut a piece that is three and five eighths by five and one eighth. Now remember, if you run out of uh, the cardstock, and when we're doing pitcher mats, you can do this, the pitcher mats, on 65 pound. So um, you're, you don't have to go out and buy another full pack. So anyway, once you cut the three and five eighths by five and one eighths, if you place this, this will give you about a sixteenth inch a little bit of black border all the way around. We're going to apply glue to this and glue that down. So what we're going to do is make this so we can still slide stuff back behind. So underneath here, whoops, I'm going to turn it the right way so it says Oz. Underneath here, I am going to go about three quarters of the way up and I'm going to go across the bottom. So the glue side here and here. And we're going to Place this slightly at an angle. Make sure you don't interfere with your bottom score line there. And we'll burnish that. So now you should be able to get something back behind, a nice size pitcher mat there. On your sticker sheet, you will find this sticker. What we're going to do with this is grab a scratch piece of cardstock and we're going to place it down and leave yourself a black border when we cut out and around this and I will show you mine. This is mine. Now when I place this right over here at an angle like this, I am not going to put uh, any glue to hit the back of this down in this area and I'm not going to glue anything to touch here because we want to be able to still slide um, a picture in there and we want to be able to tuck it back behind. So what I'm going to do is just come over here to the side just a little bit and I'll put it at an angle like so and that should not um, glue down this piece here. I should still be able to get something back behind all the way down and so that I can frame my photo and still have my uh, paper. And I can still get back behind here. Make a very small bow. Make sure you flatten down that middle part as best you can. I am going to use some of my hot glue and I'm going to stick it right here. Perfect. Let's move on to the inside down here. Grab this back out of your reserves. On the back it's black. Measure over six and three quarters inch and cut. All right, we're not on this side, we're right on the inside down here. Just move this out of the way so everyone can see. This is our cut. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna center that like we did before, except we're gonna move it up so it's centered. You'll have a larger gap here and here. And we will place that and burnish it down. 
Perfect. So if you were to, um, because we have our magnet up here, you should still be latching just fine. Cut a piece of cardstock that is four and one quarter by five and one quarter. And in your reserves, you will find this print. And on the back, it's there. This is approximately four and one eighth by about five and one eighth. So after you cut that piece, we can apply glue and glue this down. And we're going to have very narrow um, top and bottom with the black, and then we'll center side to side, and we'll glue those two together. Once you have that, we're going to set this off to the side. Um, I wanted to do a couple things first before we flip this up, because that is where this goes. But I wanted to make sure we didn't cut into that, because I believe that's the last piece with the flowers on it. On one of your sticker sheets, you will see all these images. Here is the straw man. And we're going to grab a piece of scrap cardstock. And we will cut out and around him, leaving a black border. Kind of like what we just did before. Here is mine. So um, what I want to do right now is I'm going to be placing glue just underneath this part in the back to leave this open in case you want to slide a photo back behind. So a little glue down there. We will place that here. And bring it over just a tad more. Make sure he's straight there. You will also find in your chipboard pieces this piece. And I think we're going to go right on up here with it. Again, we're only going to have glue back behind this small area. Okay, it is time to close that up. And you should be latching. Let's get for right here. In your reserves, you will find this print on the back. It is the ghosts. What we're first going to do is turn our sheet, measure over six inches, and cut. This is what you should have. Flip it upside down, measure over six and three quarter inch, and cut. All right, let's just flip that right on over. So I'm going to bring this all the way to the top, leaving about one eighth inch uh, black border, and I'm going to glue that down. That will give us a larger space down here. Let's grab out our sticker sheet here, and let's see what I would like. The heart border. So I am going to measure over six and three quarter inch on the heart border, and then I'm going to place it down here. And remember, leave yourself about an eighth inch of black showing so it matches up. Okay, I'm gonna put that back up there. This piece. Now this piece, what we're going to do is make it so we can definitely get something back behind. So what I'm going to do with this is on the bottom half, I'm just going to put two lines of glue. So I can just slide one and it'll fit all the way across. Okay, so I'm going to leave probably about a half inch up of decorative paper showing. I'm going to center that side to side. And I think that's even there. And we'll burnish. On your sticker sheet you will find wanted a brain. Let's put that down on some black cardstock and we will cut out and around it leaving a little bit of a black frame. When you stick this piece, do not stick it where your magnet is because we are already thick enough uh, with our picture mat, our layers, our paper, everything. So we're going to put that right over here. And we're just going to place glue at the bottom. So in case somebody wants to slide something back behind. And we're going to go right over here with that. And you should still be able to slide back behind that. You should still have courage and home on your sticker sheet. 
we won't back that. We'll just stick that right underneath. That looks good. Let's close this up. We're going to open up our flaps here so that we can work on this. If you are going to be trim punching, do it now. Uh, you do not want to add it to the back side because our magnet is back there. So we're, I just trim punched one, the length of my little panel here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to apply some glue. And you might want to put some, um, you may want to put some uh, scratch paper back behind. Ha! I'm going to just stick that right back there so I don't glue this shut. And be careful on the um, length of your trim there so it does not go over the bottom. So I'm going to lift this up so I can make sure I am straight, which I'm not. And then I will burnish that down. In your reserves, you will have this piece. On the back, it is Oz. We are going to flip it upside down, measure over six and three quarter inch, and cut. Now, because we have several layers of black cardstock and some are wider than our panel, um, what I want you to do is this. First off, I want you to just open up your book and lay that flat so it looks like this. Okay, now you can actually see the edge of your paper just a little bit better and you can tuck this back behind for now if it helps. And we're going to place this. Now when you place this, we're going to be even side to side. Here's the bottom. And we're going to leave about an eighth inch up there. And we're going to brush that down really good. And I want to make sure that I'm even. I'm going to, so I don't get my head in the video here. Uh, see what I got going. I think that that's good enough right there. Okay. You might want to leave your flaps tucked back behind so that um, instead of having them out, and the only reason why I say that, here's our piece, right? It's up to you or having them out. What we're going to grab at next is this. This is our last little pre-cut for the page. This is our three and a half by eight. And you'll have score lines here, here, and along the bottom. We're going to cut out that little corner down there, and you don't need to keep those corners. And we're going to fold on the score lines. Okay, so there's the front, the bottom flap. We're just going to pull these in now, add our little bit of glue in the corners, bottom corners. I think you can see that and we'll pull them up. Now before placing this, I want you to make sure that you're going to fit. And you should fit. But this is where you need to be very careful when placing this. When we place this, we're going to come down to the bottom of our page and this should fit exactly side to side on this front black flip. So just make sure you're not over too much into the score lines here or here. And you know what, I think I'm going to have you use glue for this so that you can maneuver it. I like to use score tape, but we're going to do that. Just make sure you get your edges and get a scratch piece of paper because we're going to slide it in that pocket for sure. So you don't, you don't uh, glue that down, your pocket down. Just cut along those edges. And scratch paper for me. I'm just going to slide that back in behind there. So if any glue squirts out, guess what? It's going to squirt out on that. So now we're just going to place it, bring it all the way down to the bottom of your uh, lip, all the way to match exactly up with this. And it should match up exactly over here. You should still be able to see your two score lines here and here. 
And now we're going to burnish. So if you need to maneuver yours, do so. And I'm glad I put that in there because using glue, I don't like too much with these type of pockets. But Now you should, these have the, the um, spacing in between, so you should be able to get over and have a nice latch. Still have a lot of space in between on that. Let's get our piece for here. In your reserves, you will find this. On the back, it is this. What we're gonna do is put this on our paper cutter and we're gonna cut straight along the bottom underneath the cards here and down this side to take the black trim off this and this. Do not divide them though. That is what you should have and all we need to do is take off the black trim just on this side. Do not trim the right side just yet. We're, we still have to get something that's gonna look really good there. Don't glue it down. In your reserves, you will find this print. What I want you to do is, we're gonna put this on our paper cutter and we are gonna trim all the way up down to take off the black border. Now what I want you to do is trim, put this on your paper cutter, trim off the black border on this side and I want you to come halfway in between these two cards on the black and trim and I will show you mine. So as you can see I still have a black border here. You can put this one in reserves and we're just going to trim off the bottom now. Now let's look at all of our pieces. If you were to place this one panel right here center top to bottom and giving yourself a little black border on the side. You should be able to come in with this one and just butt it up right next to the other so it has the same kind of distorted look and you'll have the same amount of border here and here. We can now glue those down. You should have a chipboard round big circle like this all I'm going to do is cut this directly in half as best I can and you'll keep the other half. Just do the best you can on cutting that. It doesn't have to be exact. This gets glued right here at the bottom in between and we'll just let that sit for a minute. Now those of us that have trim, if you want to come down to the bottom of your trim and place it here, you can. I'm gonna go higher though. Okay, that is complete. Let's do for the inside. In your reserves, you will have this print. On the back, it looks like that. Measure over four and a quarter inches and cut. Now, we're gonna apply glue to this side and we're going to center that right in there, leaving a black border here, 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 and between that score line. And we'll burnish that down. You should also have this in your reserves. Measure over four and a quarter inches and cut. We're going to apply glue to this side and we're gonna glue that down right on over there. We are good on these pages. So all we have next to do is this one and that one. So let's start here. In your paper pack, you will have this print. On the back, it is this. Let's first trim off that trim piece. All right, we're gonna turn our paper like this, measure over four and a quarter inches and cut. Now we're just going to measure over six inches and cut. Let's apply glue to this side and we will center that and glue it down. Got mine down. Whoops, the camera is shaking. We're going to apply glue to this side now and we're going to glue that down, centering that. In your reserves you will find this piece. On the back it is the ghost. We are going to cut out and around this piece. This is what mine looks like. So what I want you to do is apply glue to this and glue it down to some black cardstock, and then you can cut out and around it, leaving a nice black frame, like so. And if any of you would like to know what size my black cardstock is, here, to help you along, 
I am about three inches approximately by four and five eighths, if that helps. And you don't have to be perfect. You can choose the width of yours, whatever you would like. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is create a little pocket. So I'm gonna put a thin line under here, across, and the bottom. And I already did mine, and I wiped off the glue because I forgot to turn the camera on. So that's all there is, and you can give it a little bend if you'd like. And we're gonna center that as best we can, side to side. So this is what you should have so far. On your sticker sheet, this one, you have some purple little corners, and we'll just stick that down here as best we can anyway. Mine wants to stick. I've gotta wash my hands big time. And I think I'll go one here and one here. On your sticker sheet, follow the yellow brick road. Let's grab that. We'll just stick that right down here. And I'm gonna overlap, it looks like, over there a bit. You know the other half to our disc here? Let's see. I think I wanna add that right here. So just a little bit so you can pull. Just enough to grab it. On your sticker sheet, you see Toto? Uh, I'm going to put him right here. Just for some orange in it on the thing. Okay, last few pieces. On your chipboard, you should find two square purple, looks like postage stamps. And you will find the green little compass. So make sure you don't close up your pocket there but I'm, and stay away from going over the side, but I'm just going to place one there, one there, and one right here. Okay, we're going to flip this over. We can use our quarter inch uh, score tape for this. Uh, what you're going to want to do is line it the outside like a picture frame. Anything that peeks over, we are definitely going to be clipping off. And because this is very heavy, we're going to be placing a little bit more score tape so that we can make sure there's no liftage. And I definitely need to wash my fingertips. And you'll definitely burnish this down. Okay, so what we're going to go is we're going to go one down the middle. And on this, we're going to go three on each side. All right, so what we're going to do is we're not going to place this in our book just yet. We're going to finish up page two first, and we will mount page two first in our book, and then we mount page one so we can line up with that really good. For now, page one's complete, and we will set this off to the side and start on page two. We're on page two. Let's review our pre-cuts and our scoring. We cut a seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter inch piece. We labeled it left fold out. And what we did was we laid this so we were seven and a quarter across. We scored at six and three quarters and six and five eighths. Next piece, we had a four inch by seven and a quarter. We called it our right fold out. We placed this on our scoring board. We scored at a half inch and we scored at five eighths inch. We cut two pieces that were seven by seven and a quarter. We labeled one a top flip and one a bottom flip. They were both scored the same. 
We laid it on our scoring board. We were seven and a quarter inch across. We scored at a half inch and three quarters inch. And again, uh, I have an extra score in between because originally I had less of a space in between and I wanted to make sure we had it enough. So half inch and three quarters. And the same for this one. Next, we had a four and a half by seven inch, and we also had a four and a half by seven inch. One was labeled TF right fold out, and the other was TF left fold out. Uh, both of these were laid, so they were seven inches across the board. We scored at a half inch and five eighths on each one. Half five inch. Five eighths. We had a let's see here a three and a half by eight inch piece. We called it a TF pocket. We laid it so we were eight inches across. We scored at a half inch and we scored at seven and a half. We turned it so we were three and a half across our board. We scored at a half inch. Last piece, four inch by eight and a quarter. We called that an inside FO pocket. We laid this, we were eight and a quarter across. We scored at a half inch and we scored at seven and three quarters. We turned this so we were four inches across and we scored at a half inch. Okay. Let's get into finding our base decorative paper. In your paper pack, you will find this print on the back. It looks like that. Let's first take off that trim piece. The first cut that I would like you to do is to measure on over and cut. You see where you have a green uh, border here? and there's one in between here. Right here at the edge of Emerald City, I want you to just place this on your paper cutter and cut all the way down. And I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. So as you can see, this trim looks like this. We'll put that in our reserves. The next thing that we want to do is put this on our paper cutter and you see where there's this border here. We're going to come straight on down this way and I will show you mine. So this is the piece that I cut off. We're going to do the same exact thing that we just did up here. We are going to on this one, we're going to leave that gap and we are going to cut straight down. And I'll, again, I will show you mine. So again, we have that. We'll put that in our reserves. We are now ready, I think, to cut. Turn them upside down, measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Turn your paper like this, measure over seven and a quarter inches, and cut. This is our base page, and we are going to grab our seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter left fold out. Let's fold on those score lines. We have an outside score line and an inside score line on the outside one. We're going to wrap that back behind. We're going to line this up, so make sure we are straight. And we're going to pinch and hold it, flip it over, continue to hold it so it doesn't shift on us, and we will add our glue and burnish. Let's flip this back, push back again, so now we can feel. Make sure we are straight. Let's grab our other fold out, our right side. This is our four by seven and a quarter. We're gonna fold on those score lines and we're gonna attach it the same way. There's an inside and an outside score line. Pinch on that outside one. And we're gonna wrap this over the other. 
Make sure we're even. Pinch and hold and glue down our flap. Let's push that back up against. Let's attach our top flip. Let's fold on those score lines. Whoops, I have two of them here. And you can also uh, get your bottom flip ready to go as well. You know, it might be easier. Really quick, here's our top flip and here's our bottom. Set your bottom off to the side. Let's get these on because it may be much easier to do it now before we get on there. So grab your four and a half by seven left hand fold out. And we're going to attach that to our top flip. On your outside score line, pinch that. Here is your top flip. Your flap is up here. And we are going to attach that. Flip it over, glue that down, we'll push back so we can feel that, and let's grab our right side fold out, and on that outside one, we're going to pinch and we're going to get right back behind there, and we're going to make sure we are even when we slide that back behind the, the left hand one. So I've got mine in place. And we're going to burnish that. And we'll push back against that. And there is our top flip. Let's grab our piece here. And we're going to attach this one, so let's get that on there. We're going to pinch and hold that, and we'll burnish it down. And then we can open this up and press up to make sure we are straight. And check to make sure you have no glue under there. Okay, there is our piece. Looks good. Let's get this one out of the way. Let's grab our bottom flip and we'll just get this attached. We'll slide that back up underneath, but put this one over to make sure you're lining up with that. And then we'll pinch and we will get this one on. And now we can push back down. There we go. And as far as magnets, we will get to the magnets here in just a moment. Let's open this up. And we're going to work on the inside. In your reserves, you will have this long strip. It's 12 inches long. It looks like this. Measure over seven inches and cut. So this is what we have. Let's apply glue to the back side. We're going to come over to the left an eighth of an inch from that hinge. We'll center that top and bottom. We'll glue and burnish that down. Grab your pre-cut four by eight and a quarter inside FO pocket. Down at the bottom where there's the square, we're going to cut out those squares and then we're going to fold back on those score lines. This is where we add our glue to the corners of the bottom flap. We push up and burnish. We're going to need our 3 8 inch score tape. We're going to take it to the top and over to the inside edge without going over. Let's remove the score tape backing. And I'm going to move this all over. So you can see our opening is right here 
and we're going to line this up with the bottom corner and the bottom edge and the side of our panel. If you want to add your trim, uh, we can lay a strip right here. I'm going to get a piece ready. I have cut a strip that will fit top to bottom. And we're going to lay our glue and we will lay our piece here. Let's find our paper. In your paper pack you will find this print and on the back it is this. Let's first take off that trim piece. Measure over 3 and 3 eighths inch and cut. This is what you should have. Let's turn that. Measure over 7 and 1 eighth inch and cut. We're going to apply glue to this side and we'll center that top to bottom and glue that down. Grab two things back out of your reserves. One is this, which is the bottom half of this. And the other, I believe, is the cutoff from this. So let's start with this one. On the back it looks like this. Measure over 3 and 1 8 inch. Let's go with that. And cut. Verify you are going to fit, leaving yourself a black border here and one um, away from your score line. And you'll leave about an eighth of an inch up here. Let's apply glue and glue that down and burnish it down. This piece, actually put this off to the side. We're going to do something with that, a little different. Grab this out of your reserves and this is what it looks like. It's a thin thinner piece, it's the cut off, and we'll just look at it like this, measure over 3 and 1 8 inch, and cut. What we're going to do is we're going to apply glue to this side, we're going to line it up with the sides of this decorative piece, we'll give ourselves that 1 8 inch border down there, and we'll glue that down. Look in your scraps of your black cardstock, cut a 3 and 1 8 by 6 and 1 quarter inch piece. Lay this on your scoring board so you are 6 and a quarter across. You're going to score at 3 and 1 8. And then we're going to fold. And I'm going to put my uh, writing to the back because you will not be able to see that. Now take this where it says Emerald City and here's our opening. This should fit perfectly in there giving you a black border. Let's glue that down and we'll burnish that down. We're going to attach it over to the left hand side here so there is more here but we still want to be able to slip things back behind. So here's the opening. We're going to flip it over and we're going to go down about halfway up and across the bottom. We will place this at an angle, but be sure do not go over that side. Place it like that. Burnish that down. So now you should still be able to get back behind. And you still have your large thing here. Um, as far as this, we're going to wait um, till the end of the tor tutorial and then you can cut something to fit in here with your leftover scraps. We may do that together if I can remember, but otherwise when you're looking through you'll see that. Alright, let's leave this alone for now and we may come back and revisit this page. So let's just fold this over and that on top. This page, this is in our reserves. Let's turn that, measure over seven inches and cut. Now let's just measure over six and three eighths inch and cut. Let's lay it down on this. Let's apply glue to this and we will center that in there, leaving a black border and burnish that down. And that is our left fold out. I got mine down. Let's fold that over. In your reserves you will have a skinny strip Whoops, camera bouncing. that is the same height as this because this was the cutoff. 
Let's apply glue and we are going to center that, give ourselves a black border at the edge and we'll match up our decorative paper with this and we're going to glue that down. In your reserves you will find this strip. Measure over seven inches and cut. We're going to apply glue to the back of this and this is where this goes and you'll want to leave yourself your black border on this side. In your chipboard pieces you will find this and what we're going to do is just place that. This is overlapping the other so we'll just place that like this. We want to be able to still tuck up maybe a little picture back there. So what I'm going to do is just go from the middle straight down. And this is where you're going to want to flip this up fairly quickly after you lay that to make sure you have this where it's supposed to go and it's straight. Make sure there's no glue seeping out the back side. Perfect. Let's grab a couple of our magnets. We have a plus and a minus here. We're going to come down to the top and we'll place it and we'll come down um, half inch to three quarter inch what we did before. Right about there. Let's place the mate on that. Okay, so now this is where we need to make sure we are flush down here and up here as well. You can fill and this is where you don't pull tight. You just want to line up your sides, gently lay and press and that will set your magnets. In your reserves you will have this piece. It is approximately five inches by eight and three, eight and five eighths. Measure over six and three quarters inch and cut. We're going to apply glue to this side and on the top flap we're going to leave one eighth inch away from that top score line. We will center this side to side glue it down and burnish it down. In your reserves you will have another one of these measure over six and three quarters inch and cut. Apply glue to the back and this goes right up here and you can just match that up edge to edge just like that and make sure you burnish it down really good. Cut a piece of cardstock that is four and three eighths by five and one sixteenth I know that came out kind of odd. In your reserves you will find this piece. On the back it looks like that and we are approximately four and one eighth by four and seven eighths. We're going to apply glue to this side and we're going to mount that on the black cardstock leaving a black border all the way around. We are going to make a little pocket so on the back side we're going to go down like this and over. So one here, one here and we're going to bring it down just leaving maybe a quarter inch of our green showing and we'll burnish that. In your reserves, do you remember this piece? It had our cutouts on the back it looked like this. First things first, we're going to get these flowers off so we can still use those. So you can just set this off to the side where you can find it later. We are going to fussy cut out and around this gentleman. I have the wizard. I'm not going to back him to black cardstock. I don't think it's necessary, but I did cut out and around him the best I can. So I don't want to put glue under here because I want to be able to slide a picture. But over here from his bag under here and over I think that's what I want to do so that we can still slide back behind and I think that will work for us. I, think I want to put some more color up in here. I do. Let's cut out each one just kind of cut them out. 
we'll cut both of them out and around the best we can and we are going to add some color here other than green and black. We're going to tag one right here but don't put glue there so I'll just put some glue up here and that will hold that on because I still want to be able to slide stuff and I don't want to go over the edge and I will cut this one out. Let's see. Actually, that might be okay right back over here. So I am just going to apply glue to this whole thing because it won't interfere because I'm going to slide it back and over and we still can get stuff back behind. And that gives it a little more color. Okay, we are down here to cover with paper. In your paper pack you will find this print, another one, and on the back it is this. Let's take off this trim piece. I have my trim piece cut off. I'm going to turn it, measure over, let's see, six and one eighth inch and cut. Now we're going to measure over six and three quarters inch and cut. Let's apply glue to this side and we will place that. I have mine down. I think that looks pretty good. Let's just snap that right on over. And these we need to get some magnets on for sure. So let's open this up and grab a couple magnets. Magnets. So our first magnet is going to go actually on this side. We'll come in maybe about a half inch and place it. Let's place the mate on top. I've already got my sticky off. We'll pull this side over, make sure you're flush. And remember, don't pull tight. Just line them up and let them fall where they should be. Okay, let's move on into here. If you are die cutting or doing trim punch, you will cut a piece that is the same width as your top black panel. And we'll put that on now. I'll slide something back behind there and we'll put that on. I think that is straight enough. In your reserves you will find this print on the back. It is this and I think we are going to measure over six and three quarters inch and cut. Now let's turn it measure over six and one eighth inch and cut. We're going to apply glue to this side and we will center it and glue that down. Grab your three and a half by eight inch pocket and down at the corners we are going to cut out the squares. We'll fold back on those score lines and we will use our glue to tack the bottom part down, pull those in and pull that up. Now this is the one that we're going to use glue on just in case because we still have to be able to get these around and if, if you get it over too far uh, you're definitely going to have a problem with your fold outs there. So make sure you get that edge. This is the one where you definitely want to put some sort of scratch paper back behind and I have no idea what I did with mine. Oops, oh here it is. Stick that in there. There we go. And line it up making sure you don't go over. Perfect. In your reserves you will find this. What we're going to do is from the left hand side here we're going to cut of the card, we'll cut all the way down and then from the top over we will cut. Well let's start there. So I cut off the trim here and over here. Now what I want to do is cut right below the card like we did before all the way over. So don't glue that down just yet. What we want to do is the flying monkeys. We're going to trim off this black here, down here, and along the side. 
and halfway through we'll cut down there and I will show you mine. So this is what yours should look like. You still have some of the black. Let's lay our piece, pieces down. We should have a black border on the left, top, bottom, and we can overlap this one and we'll glue those down. I have mine down, so now let's grab for the inside pieces here. Grab this out of your reserves. Measure over four and a quarter inch and cut, and then you'll measure over again four and a quarter inches and cut. Here are our pieces. What we're gonna do is we're gonna apply glue and we're gonna glue them down on the sides here. I think that we are going to do is you should have this chipboard piece and it's going to have to go on this side. Okay, what do we have here? We have the witch to where you can do that. That's probably the easiest. And just cut around because you still want to be able to have something lay back for when you... All you need it to do is to cover so just know where it's supposed to place and we will put that right back there. That will stay down. Now let's grab our piece and just along the one side, just real thin and then we can place it. And then that way you can still get something small back in behind like this and in case you forget I'm gonna back this really quick to a little this piece that we have left over in our reserves I'm just gonna back it to some black card stock here it's just a little piece and either I'll go like this or like that for... I think I'm going to leave that side up here so it's... you can just get a photo. And I'll place that. So anyway, I can hang that off the side too. Okay, let's flip that. That should still latch. It's looking good. In your reserves, you will find this print. I like that. It's really cool. I'm glad we used it the way we did. Anyway, on the back is Oz. Measure over six inches and cut. Now measure over, my camera keeps bouncing, four and a quarter inches and cut. That should give us a nice, a nice fit for the front. Let's apply our glue. And we will center that and glue that down. On your chipboard pieces you will find this and this is going to be our pull tab but we only need to put just a little bit right here so we can always slide a photo still back behind. And we will stick that right there and make sure I don't have any glue seeping out. Let's just open that up Find our paper frame here. In your reserves, you will have this piece on the back. It looks like this. Let's apply our glue and we'll bring it down to the bottom, leaving uh, our spacing. Glue that down. And in your reserves, you will find this piece. We're going to measure to fit. And um, it's a quicker way. So I'm lining this up with my piece over here. I'm just going to make a pencil mark and cut. Once you have this piece glued down, now that we have this, we will just come right over the top and glue that down. All right, I have that down. We'll just close that up. I think that looks really good. In your reserves, grab this piece and what we're going to do is put this on our paper cutter and cut off that black piece, the trim. We're not going to back this. We're just going to tuck that right on in there. 
in your reserves you will have this. Let's cut these pieces out. Alrighty, I'll just stick him here, here, and here. This page is complete and you can arrange these any way you want. This page is complete. We're going to flip it over. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Score tape around the outside like a picture frame. One down the middle and one, two, three on each side. And I'm going to use my quarter inch. And then we're going to place this in the book together. I have my book in front of me. I'm going to move a few things out of the way here. And we're going to open up to the first page. Here's one and two. Here is our page two. I've got the score tape off. This is really simple, but I will say because the the pieces are the pages are black, you might want to slip something white so you can see what you're doing. Now on this particular thing, we're going to go all the way over to the edge of our paper and we will center it top to bottom as best you can. So we just want to make sure we are at the edge over here. And then we will place it. Now once you have that down, you need to open this up. And I keep forgetting we're latched here too to help us keep it down. We're going to just keep opening this up. Now let's burnish this down really good. This is where a lot of people have problems with their edges lifting because they aren't burnishing down um, to the base. So there we go. And I think that that looks good. Okay, so we have that one in. This side is easy to place. What we're going to do is here is your hinge and be mindful of that because you do not want to be right up on that. So what we're going to do is place this between evenly between this hinge and the side of our thing. We'll have the same amount of black over there. And we're going to line this up with this page. So if this page falls here, this will fall here. That way they look the same. I've got my score tape backing off, so I'm going to show you again, just to make sure so that it is real, not just placing this and moving it around. So uh, again, here's my hinge. I'm going to try to line that up, the bottom of this with that. And if I get it off, I'm not going to really sweat it. Let's see. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to keep opening up this until I get to the back page. And here we are. Okay, looks good. Page one and two are in our book. We are now on to page three. Whoops, let's back up just a hair. I did want to add a leaf here. Can't help myself. I'm just gonna go like this. And I got a purple one. Has two of the medium, one of the small layered in. And I'm going to place that right here. Now this is bulky, so you can press it down a little, but we have the spacing to accommodate that, see? So I think that looks good. And over here, we're going to do the same. So they're not exactly on top when you close the book. One's lower than the other. And now they will clear. And we will be fine, just like that. And remember, if you need to mash down some of your flowers, you can do so. Okay, we are now on to page three. We're on page three and we're going to go over our pre-cuts. So for page three, 
we cut two pieces that were six by six. We labeled one right fold out and the other left fold out. And what we did was we laid each one of these on our scoring board. We scored one at a half inch and the other at five eighths. And we also did this with this one, half inch and five eighths inch. And we just labeled one right fold out and the other was the left fold out. We also cut, let's see, one, two, three, four pieces that were three and a half by six and three eighths. Okay, and what we did was, and we'll go over how we labeled them, but what we did was we laid this six and three eighths across the board. We scored at a half inch and five and seven eighths. We turned it and we scored it at a half inch and we did that with all of them. Now, two of them we labeled right F-O pocket and the other two we labeled left F-O pocket. Okay, we are ready to begin cutting and we're also gonna cut for our reinforcement of the hinges on this. I'm going to get this out of the way. In your paper pack, you will find this print on the back. It is this. Let's first take off that trim piece. Now on this, what we're first going to do is, you see where we have Wicked Witch of the West? What we're going to do is you can see that there is the black line trim. Right underneath that is where we are going to cut all the way down. And I am going to show you mine. So this is the piece we cut off. And this is what you should have left. This piece here, I want you to set it to the side. We are most likely going to need that, definitely. Our next cut is, you see where you have the lined black right here? Just to the right, right on that black line, we are going to cut all the way down. And I am going to show you what mine looks like. So this is what you should have, and we're going to need that. All right, let's turn this around, and we're going to do the same thing. Our witch is upside down. We're going to go just to the left of the black line, just like we did on the other one, and we're going to cut. So this is what you are left over with, and I'm just going to put this off to the side too. We're going to do the same thing now on this side, just to the left of the black. We're going to trim all the way down to start. Okay. We will just set that off to the side. Uh, let's do the same thing up at the top here. We're going to go just to the left of the black line. And so you'll see a black solid line. You can just cut right on that line all the way down. So that's what you should have, the top piece off. We're going to go just to the right um, of the black lines and cut on that solid black line all the way down just like we've been doing. For now let's just sit this off to the side. Let's grab our album. So this is what we set aside. We're going to grab our shortest piece first and what we're going to do, look at it like this, measure over three quarters of an inch and cut. This is what you should have. Now measure over eight inches and cut. This is what you are going to be left over with. Now what I want you to do with these is just, these are should be absolutely the same. We're just going to put those two together. We're going to use this as our template. So we're just going to do the best we can with this and we're going to lay it right over to match up. We'll make a pencil mark here and at the edge over here. Now we'll just keep these doubled up and we will cut here and here. So now you have three pieces that are the same. Let's grab one. And I'm going to zoom us in just a little so you can see. Now remember our, our hinge is right here. 
Where this goes is right here, centered top to bottom, and you'll be able to see exactly where the black is here and here. There's just a little bit. Now, one thing is, is be mindful of that hinge over here. So you're going to go just to the left of that centering it. So make sure you can still open your book. And we are going to glue this down. Now with this, I want us to use glue in case you need to maneuver it. So just make sure you get those edges really good. Have something to wipe up any uh, glue that squirts out. Let's do this. So make sure I'm even. And looking at your um, hinge there can help keep you even as well. But just make sure you are even uh, centered top to bottom. That's the biggest thing that we want to make sure we do. So we're just going to burnish that down and any glue that squirts out, again, we're going to mop up. Okay, so there's the first one. Let's flip to our next one. Now, one thing is, is this may be too wide to fit in between. So we'll just put it over there and we're going to be lining up with the bottom of the other one. But we are going to have to trim. So once you can see what the idea is, you can kind of pull this up and you will be able to see over here where you need to cut. And for me, it's cutting off that black um, lined bit. So I'm just going to go to the left of that so it's a comfortable fit. And I'm going to trim that piece off. Now I trimmed mine and I placed it. Okay, before I add my glue, I want to make sure I can lift and pull over this without this buckling, and I'm good. So now it's time to do the same thing. Let's apply our glue, making sure we get those edges, and we're going to line it up with the bottom of the one down here. Make sure we're not on our hinge, and we are going to burnish. Okay, let's flip. And over here, we're going to place this down, and again, we may have to, and we do, trim. So I think what I'm going to do is the same thing. It's just trim off that black um, lined trim, and I, then I'm going to see if I fit. I trimmed mine, and now I'm going to be a good fit. I'm going to line that up now with the bottom of my other purple ones down here. And I'm going to pull this up. And I am fitting. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. Apply glue and we're going to place it and we're going to burnish it down. Okay, so I have mine down. Next thing we want to do is we're going to open this up so we can see this better. And grab one of your purple thinner pieces. Now, what you're going to want to do is make sure it does not interfere with your pages. You're going to line it up with the corner down here, and we are going to measure to fit. So once you have it there, you can kind of turn your pages and see where you need to cut to match up over here. And it should be the same for up above. Now, one thing is, is if you did not get exactly centered in there, you may have to trim the width, the this part down a little. But let's see how we do. So I'm just going to open this up so I can see both ways. And I'm going to place this, and it should not go over the edge of your chipboard. It can go to the edge, but not over and it should not stop your page from flipping. And we're going to glue and burnish that down. Okay, take this piece now, and we're going to do the same. I'm going to turn my album upside down. It's much easier. If your piece does not fit exactly, you can grab another one of your pieces here and measure to fit. And just flip your pages. Get off all that glue. So now this is what we have. We have our four our hinges are reinforced down here, and it actually looks really good with the trim. These leftover pieces can now go in your reserves. We can stick our book off to the side and 
then we're going to grab this back out. And what we're going to do is we're looking at it sideways. We are going to put this on our paper cutter and where we're going to cut this time is right here. And I'm going to show you. It's right along right along this top part and just trim that all the way off because we're going to probably need that. Okay, I am going to back this back out now. This is what yours should look like. Let's turn it upside down from this side over, measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. This is what you should have. Let's turn our page from over here, measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Here is our base page. Let's grab our two six by six right and left fold outs. And it matters not which way your thing is, you can just turn it right on over like I'm going to do. So for these, all we're gonna worry about now is just folding on those score lines for our attachments and so nobody gets confused if we're upside down. I'm just going to erase this. It's going to get covered anyway, but I don't want you to uh, get confused if mine's upside down from how it's supposed to be. So there. So the first one that we want to attach is we're going to attach over here. Outside score line and an inside. On the outside, we're going to pinch. And we're going to attach it all the way to the top and back behind. Once you have it there, pinch and hold and let's get our hinge glued down. Okay, we can fold back against that. Let's grab our other one and the hinge is off to the right now. And on the outside uh, score line, we're going to fold on that one and we're going to hook it back on this and bring it all the way to the bottom of our page like that and we will attach it and then we'll, we'll fold back against it when our glue is dry. So we are going to open this up and we are going to work on the inside. In your paper pack you will have this print and on the back it is black. Let's take off that trim piece. I've got my trim piece off. Our first cut is to measure over five and one eighth inch and cut. This is what you should have. We'll just turn it this way. Measure over three and a half inches and cut. Measure over again three and a half inches and cut. On both of these pieces we're going to apply glue and we are going to Place it and we are going to leave ourselves a black border on the right, left, and top. So they should all be uh, the same as far as uh, how wide your black border is. And we're going to do the same on this side. Now grab one of your left FO pockets and one of your right FO pockets. And on each one in the corner, we are going to trim out that corner piece. So let's do that. So on both your pieces, both of these bottom squares should be cut out. And all we're going to do is what we've done before, is by folding back on them. So what you should have now is all your bottom squares cut out of both of your pieces here. And we will do like we've done before previously with our pockets. And pulling that up. Let's grab our 3 8 inch score tape and we're going to line it just at the edge as we've been doing and we will burnish it down. Now what we're going to do is remove the backing off our score tape. Now on this one be very careful. This is an exact fit from the edge over to just along the score line. So we're going to come all the way to the bottom corner and the side on this and on the bottom and we're going to place that. And you should still be able to hook this over. And we're going to do the same with this side. So we're just going to bring that down to the bottom corner and make sure you line up with that side. And you should still be able to hook it over. 
Okay, let's get our paper. In your reserves, you will have these two pieces on the back side. It looks like this. Um, on each one, even though they're slightly different in size, just by a little bit, we're just going to double those up, measure over five and a quarter inches, and cut. This is what you should have, and I'm going to move this up a little bit. Matters not which one's placed on which side. So we're going to apply glue, and we're going to bring that all the way over. And you should just see a, a slender part of black over here. Bring it down to the bottom. And we're going to also do the same thing over here and glue those down. If you are adding trim, now is the time. And you'll just cut a piece that will fit from side to side. Make sure that you do not go over the edge of your piece. And you'll leave yourself just a little bit to grab hold on. Okay, let's get our paper for here and here. In your reserves, you will find two narrow strips like this. They are approximately just about the same size, and this is what mine looks like. On the back, it is this. So the first thing we're going to do is just match these up to the side. One's going to have an, uh, is going to be wider. That's the one that we are going to cut to be the same width as this. And I will tell you what this is. I can find my ruler. Oh, where'd it go? Here it is. So one is about seven eighths wide, and then this one is about an inch wide. So both of these need to be seven eighths inch wide, so they match. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place them together, uh, and you will measure over five and a quarter inches and cut. So now you have both of these, and they are the same. We're going to apply glue, and we will glue those down just like that. And over here. In your chipboard pieces, you should have this piece. And we're just going to apply glue to this. Glue that down right here. You should have another chipboard piece like this. We're going to apply our glue. And we're going to glue that one down right there. Perfect. Let's just flip this one in. In your paper pack, you will find this print. On the back is this. Let's take off that trim piece. Next, what we're going to do is put this on our paper cutter, and let's just divide these all up. So our first cut, we can just cut right along here, and then we will separate each one. For our page three, we're going to be using these two. Now these two pieces stick off to the side with your page four pre-cuts so we don't accidentally get into it. Okay, we need to trim this down to fit. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to trim off this black piece. Now we're going to measure to fit. So we have our right fold out folded in. And what I want you to do is place this. And when we place this, it looks like we're short here than here. There's a big gap. But in reality, this is eventually going to pull up to the top because our pocket goes here. And it will cover uh, this part. So all we're looking to do is to place this down so that we can even this up between the two. So I am looking up here because I need to trim down this way. And I'll need, leave a little bit of a black border there and I'll come over here and place a pencil mark there. So now I know if I trim down this way and this way, this will then fit side to side. So let's do that. Once you've done that, we're going to make sure that we fit by taking this to the top, leaving a little bit of a black border. And you should have a little black border here and over here. We're next going to glue and burnish that down. Now remember, we still need to place our magnet over here, and we won't be doing that until we place the pocket that goes on this side here. So let's grab another one of our right FO pockets, and we will clip, and we're just going to do what we normally do. We're going to fold back, apply our glue, our score tape, and get it 
ready to go. I have the score tape backing off my pocket. Remember the pocket is up here and we are going to do the same thing. We're going to come down to the left hand corner of our fold out and to the edge and bottom and we're going to place that. If you have trim, let's get that down. Okay, now we're ready to set one of our magnets and where we're going to place it is right down here in the corner. Not too far in the corner. Right about there. Next we'll set our magnet on top. Make sure your sides are where they should be and you're lined up and don't pull over hard. What you're going to do is lightly bring it over and press. Now our magnets are placed. Let's get our paper for this. In your reserves you will find this square and on the back it's this. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our ruler to make sure we're going the right way. We are five and one eighth inch going this way and if we turn it this way which is the way that we want to look at it we are five inches. So with it five inches I want you to measure over two and seven eighths inch and cut. So the larger one is the one that we want and that will give us a black border on either side. Let's glue that down. Okay, we have our sticker sheet. We're going to grab this. We're not going to uh, back it. We're just gonna stick it right down here over that magnet, just like that. That will cover it and we will be snapping. On your sticker sheet you should have Wicked and we're going to stick that right in the middle. Let's close that up. Okay, we set this off to the side. If you have any black uh, trim up here showing, let's trim that off. And you can take off the, the white uh, as well up there. Now this should be a good fit top to bottom leaving you a black border. Now we're going to pull that down so we can see what we're doing here and we are going to try and center this side to side and we're going to make our pencil marks and you'll leave yourself a black border. And now what we're going to do is trim and then I'm going to take a look at how this looks. Okay, I'm going to place mine down, taking a peek and it looks good. Let's apply our glue and center that and burnish that down. We have one more and it's the left FO pocket and that's where it goes. Let's get this ready to go by cutting out our bottom corners and we're going to fold back. We'll add our glue after pulling in our sides and we're going to lay our score tape on that. I've got the score tape backing off of this. Remember your pocket is going to be uh, opening at the top and we're going to do the same thing we've been doing it. Bring it down to the far corner, the bottom, and line it up with our sides. And we will place that. If you have trim, let's apply our trim to this. This piece that was left over from this one, it's shorter. We're going to use that. We're going to apply glue, bring it to the bottom, leaving yourself um, a little bit of black showing, and we'll glue that down. In your reserves you should have some cuttings from when we cut down some of these pieces. It might look like this. And on the back is this. So whatever you find, we're going to measure over 5 and 1 8 inch and cut. Don't glue it down just yet. Now in your reserves you will have the long skinny pieces from when we were cutting for um, we were cutting for the reinforcements uh, of the spine. So grab one of your skinny pieces, measure over five and one eighth inch and cut. Okay, what we're gonna do is first glue down this piece. I'm getting those edges for sure. And it's gonna go right here where it butts up next to the other one. Okay. Now we're gonna apply glue to this and we will glue that down, leaving a little bit of a black border for those of you that um, don't have the trim. And I think this will look really good. So we can overlap over that. We'll definitely want to. On your sticker sheet, you will find this. 
and we're going to put that down onto some scratch black cardstock and we want to mount it to that to make it a little bit thicker and it'll stick out. Now you don't have to leave a black border around it when you cut. If it's easier just to cut around, that's fine. Well, here's mine. It is not perfect by far, but it has a little bit of black, just a sliver showing. So for this, I'm going to glue this down, but I'm only going to put glue on the bottom half. So you can tuck tags or whatever. And we will place that. And that looks good. This page is complete. I don't think that there's anything else I really want to add to it at this point. I may want to add some flowers here after we get it in our book and get the other side in. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to um, line it around the outside edges like a picture frame. We're going to go one down the middle and only one, two on either side. And I'm going to use my quarter inch. So this is what the back of yours should look like. We're going to go ahead and burnish, and then we'll place this in our book together. I have the score tape backing off, off that, and remember, we're going to go all the way to the left on these, and we're going to place these, just like that. We'll open it up, and we're going to burnish that down really good. Perfect. We are now on to page four. Let's go over page four's pre-cuts, and we set these off to the side when we were creating page three, so we'll just stick these. We'll be getting to those shortly. Now, page three and four are identical, except for the fact that page four has a back pocket on it. So that's the only difference there. And let's start off. So page four, and I may be out of order with how we cut them on the sheet, but let's just go over it. You have four pieces that are three and a half by six and three eighths. Two of them are called right fold out pocket and the other two are the left fold out pocket. They are scored identical. So if we were to lay that on our scoring board, we scored at a half inch and we scored at five and seven eighths inch. We turned it, so we were three and a half across our board, and we scored at a half inch. We also had on page four two six by six pieces. One's our right fold out, and one's our left fold out. Each one was laid on our scoring board, and we scored at a half inch and five eighths inch on both of these. We also had a four by eight and a quarter inch piece we called a back pocket. And we laid this so we were eight and a quarter inch across our board. We scored at a half inch. And looks like we scored at seven and three quarters inch. We turned this so we were four inches across and we scored at a half inch. Let's get our paper ready. All right, in your paper pack, you will have another one of these. On the back, it is this. Let's take off that trim piece. That trim piece uh, is cut off. We're gonna turn it upside down, measure over one and three quarters inch and cut. Let's turn our piece, measure over two inches and cut. So this is what you should have. Slip it upside down, measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Let's turn it, measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. This is our base sheet. Let's grab our six by six fold outs. And one's going to have the hinge off to the left, and one's going to have the hinge off to the right. Let's fold on those score lines. Let's grab our left fold out, and on the outside score line, let's pinch it. We're going to attach it all the way to the bottom. And we will glue down our hinge, and we will push back against that. Let's grab our right fold out and on the outside score line we will pinch and this one gets attached at the top. Let's open that up. 
in your pre-cuts, you will have a four by eight and a quarter inch back pocket. This is the same as any other pocket. We're going to cut out those corner pieces and we're going to go fold back on our hinges here and we will glue and tack these down and add our score tape. I've removed the score tape backing and this is going to place right over here and you'll want to come down to the corner of your piece. Be careful of your folding mechanism. So now we have a nice large pocket. In your paper pack you will have this print and on the back it is this. Let's take off that trim piece. We're going to place this on our paper cutter and we are going to cut just to the right side of these two cards all the way down. Now all we're going to do is Let's go to the bottom of this card here, the witch. We'll put this in our reserves. And we're going to cut out and around each one of these cards. Set these off to the side. If you would like to add trim, you will cut a piece of cardstock. Whoops, that's bouncing around. That is seven and a quarter inches long. You'll apply glue and you will glue that down. In your paper pack, you will find this print on the back. It is this. Let's take off that trim piece. Measure over three and three-eighths inch and cut. Now measure over seven and one-eighth inch and cut. Let's apply our glue to this side and we will center that top to bottom and glue that down and burnish. In your reserves you will find a trim that looks like this on the back and I'm going to give you the measurement because you probably have several of these. This is approximately one and a half inches this way and we are about nine and three-eighths this way. What I want you to do is just clip. I'd say go over about a quarter inch from Wicked the D there. Next we're going to come over about a quarter inches from the W and we're going to clip. This right here is going to get glued down. We do not need to back this, I don't think. I think we'll be just fine. We'll center that at the bottom between the two sides. Grab the witch We'll apply glue to her and we're going to bring her up, bring her down about a quarter inch from the top. We'll center her side to side there. And for Glenda, she goes right down here. Just tuck her in. Grab this sheet back out of your reserves. We are 12 inches long. Measure over 5 and 1 8 inch and cut. This is what you should have after making that five and one eighth inch cut. Let's turn it, measure over three and a half inches and cut, measure over again three and a half inches and cut. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're going to apply glue and we will get that up there, leave it a little border at the top. And we will take this one and it goes over here. And we'll burnish that down. Grab one of your right FO pockets and left FO pockets. And we are going to get this ready to go. We're going to clip out those corners on each one. We will fold on our score lines back. We will add our glue to tack it and then we will apply our score tape. And we're going to place these together. I have the score tape backing off both my pieces and remember when we do this we're going to come all the way down to that bottom corner and place them. Same over here, all the way to that bottom corner. If you want to add your trim, now is the time. In your reserves, you will find this print. We are 12 inches long. Measure over 2 and 7 eighths inch and cut. Measure over again 2 and 7 eighths inch and cut. 
this is what you should have. We're going to double these up and we're just going to measure over five and a quarter inches and cut. Once you verify you are going to fit, we're going to apply glue to this side and we're going to glue those down. On your chipboard pieces you will find this piece and we're going to glue that down right over here but when you glue it we're only going to do the bottom part so you can still slide something back make two small purple bows and glue them down right like that grab two magnets and we're going to place our first one and it gets placed on this corner right about in there we'll put the mate on top remember fold that in make sure your sides and then bring this over lightly don't pull and press on your sticker sheet let's get Glenda and she's just gonna place right over here right over the magnet just like that okay let's that's there let's close that and let's get for this page. This piece that we were holding off to the side, what we're going to do is put this on our paper cutter and we will trim off the black trim up there. Now let's grab our pencil and we're going to measure to fit. So we are just going to try to center that the best we can side to side. And if it's a little off, that's okay. And now we are going to trim we will verify it fits, we'll apply glue, and we'll glue that down. We probably should have placed our magnet before we, um, for doing this, but I think we'll be just fine with snapping still through that. It's grabbing. My mistake. Okay, so let's prepare our left fold out pocket and and if you don't want a pocket there, you don't have to place a pocket here, just so you know. Okay, let's fold back on our pieces. We'll burnish and we will get this ready to uh, place. Let's place it, bring it to the corner over here, and we'll verify that that magnet still holds well. If not, we'll use an extra one, but we should be just fine. Yeah, that grabs and it still grabs pretty good there. Okay, now's the time to place your trim piece if you would like trim. I have my trim down. In your reserves you will find this piece and this going this way we're six and a quarter inch and this way we are six and seven eighths inch. Measure over two and seven eighths inch and cut. Now measure over five and a quarter inch and cut. Apply glue and we'll glue that down. In your reserves you will find a very long strip, about 12 inches long. And on mine I can see a little dip and then it looks like the trim over there. So what I'm going to do so it looks the same is just trim off that first piece. Now I'm just going to measure to fit. I'm going to place that right on across there and cut that. And I'll glue that down. Once you've done that, let's close that up. Let's grab this piece. So with this piece, this piece may fit top to bottom. If you need to trim a little, trim uh, off the bottom down here so it fits top to bottom. Now we'll just place that down and we will center that side to side and we'll make our pencil marks where we think we need to trim there. Once you get the sides cut off, don't glue it down yet. Um, because our pocket is going to come up so far, we don't want to totally cover up the lion. We will be covering up Toto. So I'm going to bring mine up to where the scarecrow's top and I'm going to trim. I should have had us think about that first before we did the other. But anyway, let's put it no harm. Let's glue that down now. 
grab your right FO pocket. It is time to get it ready. So we'll clip the sides, fold on our score lines, add our glue to tuck back, and then our score tape. And we will place this together. I have mine ready to go. Remember, we go over down to the bottom left corner of this and we place it. Now's the time to cut and get any uh, trim that you'd like to add to it. In your reserves, you will have this last piece. Measure over five and quarter inches and cut. Next, we're going to measure over two and seven eighths inch and cut. I'm going to apply glue and lay it down here because I will be adding some purple here. In your reserves, look for a cutting, and I'm not going to worry about where it separates over here into another little panel. I'm going to go with this. All right, on our sticker sheet, you will find this. We're going to bring it to the bottom, try to center that. And then on the inside, this goes in there. Grab your two chipboard pieces. One is the scarecrow, and we're just going to add it to the bottom there. Okay. And then we have Glenda just to the bottom. Scoot him up just a little bit. Okay, let's uh, flip this over, apply our score tape like we did the other page, all the way around like a picture frame, one down the middle and two on either side. And we'll place this together in our book. We are not quite done though. And you'll want to use your quarter inch because our three eighths may be getting low and we may need that for the next page. I am ready to place this. So remember, you're going to want to come all the way to the edge of your page and place that. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple flowers ready to go and some leaves. I have created some flowers and I have my glossy accents on them to dry, but I have, what I'm using here is two of the largest petals and I alternated between stamped images of the squeezed lemon and the uh, antique linen. And then what I did was I brushed lightly on all of it with the antique linen, of course yellow in the center. Um, over here what I did was I used some of the images that were stamped with Dusty Concord. They are the, there were four smallest petals. Then I took seedless preserves and went dark around the edges, blotted lightly over, and then I assembled two and two. So only two layers on that. And of course the yellows in the middle. So I'm going to allow those to dry and then we're going to put these in our album. Here's my album and I'm ready to place some of these. So I'm going to use my hot glue. You can use your regular glue. And I'm going to stick the leaves right on over here. And I don't think my glossy accents are quite dry enough, but we'll go with it. I'm going to grab one of my largest flowers and I can mash down this flower a bit um, to make it fit better too. I'm going to grab one of these and that just goes right here. I think that looks good. Okay, the other side. I have my leaves and now this time we're going to half cover up some of this, but it will look good. And I think we'll go like that. Our biggest flower right here. And our smallest flower, I think we'll go right here. Okay, page Four is complete. We are almost done with this tutorial. Let's, um, I'm going to allow my glossy accents to dry further, but then we're going to travel on over to page five.